Hi everyone, this is Ginny Lupi from the New Hampshire State Council on the Arts and I'm going to walk you through the new budget form for the Public Value Partnerships Grant Program. If you've applied to this program before, you'll notice that the form looks a bit different from what you're used to. And the big difference is that the form is now in Microsoft Excel format. And what that means is that it will do the math for you. It will subtotal your income, total your income, and it will also total your expenses. And I think this is going to make everyone's lives much easier and allow you to double check the math with your own financials. So before we look at the form itself, let's just look at the top here. And there's some information here about the grant program. Obviously, we really want you to carefully, carefully read the guidelines. Uh, these are just basic instructions here about your budget and your request. Remember that you can't ask for more than $13,000 each year for a two-year period. This is a two-year grant program. The request for the first year of the grant period can't exceed 10% of your organization's income from the last fiscal year. Very important. You have to be able to project a cash match of at least 10 to 1, and that can't include federal or other state funds. And finally, your future year budget here your income and your expenses have to match. So that budget has to be balanced. Very important. The blue text here is just a little bit of information about filling out the form. If you're using the Excel version, please don't use dollar signs or commas. And you really don't even need to use periods unless there are cents in that dollar amount for most of you, you won't have that issue. I know from my own experience that the financials are rounded, and so you shouldn't end up with cents. So the applicant name is here, and this is the name that you used on the application and the dates of your fiscal year. And now let's look at the form itself. Very, very easy to fill out. Obviously, let's say you've got admissions. I'm just going to fill out these fields so you can see how they format. Let's say in your past year, you had $545 of, in ticket sales. I type 545, no dollar sign, no period, no nothing. I'm going to hit my tab key, and you'll see that the dollar amount now formats properly. In the current year, let's say you've got $1,250 in ticket sales. And again, I'm typing 1250, no dollar sign, no comma, no period. When I press my tab key, the dollar amount formats properly. So very, very easy to use. You know, should be no problem at all. Contracted services. If you have contracted out, your organization's contracted out to another organization, and you have income, related to those contracts, you want to list that information here. If you don't have any contracted services, you want to put zeros in the blue fields. There are blue fields throughout this form, and they exist to give staff and panelists an easy way to eyeball the form. You should only fill out the blue fields if you don't have anything for that area. So you'll see we've got the same um, formatting for corporate contributions, private foundations, federal government support, other state government support, local government, and in kind. So, you know, if you don't have anything for those fields, you put zeros in the blue fields. If you do have something for these areas, you list it and leave the blue fields alone. Don't put anything in the blue fields. Pretty easy. These items in the income and expense area are the same items uh, that have been in previous budget forms. So if you've used the previous budget form, this isn't going to be completely alien. 
So concessions, sales, rentals, fees or tuition, memberships. If your organization has memberships, you want to place that income there. Again, corporate contributions you want to list, private foundations you want to list, any other private support. And so this includes fundraisers. So if you have a big event every year or a couple of events, this is where you want to put the revenue. Any federal government support, any state support from organizations, state agencies other than us, any local government support, applicant cash, this is cash, your own cash, your organization's cash, and any in-kind contributions. So after you've listed all of these things, the subtotal will add, and now this is where you put the request for us the money that you want from us. So if you received money from us in a prior year, you want to place that here. If you're receiving money from us this year, you want to place that and then what you expect to get from us in the next year. All of your income will add here. And now we'll go to the expenses. And again, it's the same thing. Past year, current year, future year. All of these items should be familiar to you, if not from prior applications, from your own financials. Your administrative staff, artistic, technical staff, any outside artistic fees and services that um, you're contracting for, outside non-artistic fees and services, and you want to list those. If you don't have any, put, them in, put zeros in the blue fields. Same as in the income section. Advertising, printing, mailing, your web presence, what you're spending for the web, space rental, any travel expenses, expenses related to accessibility. If you don't have any, put zeros in the blue fields. If you do, list them and leave the blue fields blank. Supplies, materials, miscellaneous, and other. Very often the other area is in kind. And then your expenses will automatically add and you're done. Simple, straightforward, a very, very easy form to use. We do have a fillable PDF version of this form. Unfortunately, it does not contain the formulas, so you will have to do your own math if you choose to use that form. I hope that this little video has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to your feedback. Thank you so much.